611, it is 1043 My Dennis Valentine in the morning. I just uh, watched my nest can out front. This is very funny. Because I've been watching the nest cans a lot. I guess somebody broke into one of our neighbor's cars the last night or the night before, maybe the night before. And it's like right across the street. And I've got my Prius park in the driveway. So I'm like, oh, yeah. And we're trying to figure out who broke in the car. And, you know, it's, it's tough with these cameras to really catch people sometimes, especially in the middle of the night. But anyway, so I was watching that stuff, watching the nest cans more than usual. And I just got alert for the front steps, and I looked out there, and it's a bunny. But here's the funny part. My wife has these, like, there's so many bunnies, Joe, there's even the lawn up left and right, but they're cute. Um, so my wife has these fake bunnies, just kind of decorative bunnies that sit out there. I've never seen this before. I should show you the video. The bunny hops up onto my front porch there and walks over to the fake bunnies, gets up on its hind legs, and just kind of looks at them for a second, stands around, looks at them again, then plops back down, then runs away. I don't know if they thought they were friends. <laughs> right, <laughs> then yeah. Then he's like, thanks to be home to his family. Yeah, those new buddies that moved in are super rude. I went over to say hi, and uh, what jerks, didn't say a word, you know, just stood there like they owned the place, and with their head held high and everything. What snobs? Who knows what shire they're from? Oh. How cute, though. That's really sweet. <laughs> I thought it was cute too. I thought it was cute too. This little bunny bounced around outside my house. But the sun is up. It is 612. It's 1043 by them. This is Valentine in the morning. Saying good morning to you. Saying good morning to you as well, Jill, wearing your Disneyland sweatshirt. Look at you. Yes, I, I'm so chilly this morning. I had to run upstairs right now and grab my sweatshirt. But yeah, I got my Disneyland sweatshirt on. Ready for the day. You have so much Disneyland gear. I mean, they shut down, of course, during all this, and as a company, I'm sure they're taking a huge hit, but thank God they have Jill to support them um, with the continuing buying of gear that will keep anybody who works for Disney still unemployed, hopefully. I just bought three new shirts last week. I'm like, when am I going to wear these? Oh I don't my know. God. Oh, you're the best. I you're the best. <laughs> hey, how, well, without saying names, how are our friends doing that we know at Disneyland that are furloughed? How are they doing? Have you checked in on them? Yeah, they're they're okay. They're all right. They're excited to get back to work eventually, but they understand that, you know, safety comes first. And um, a lot of my friends have been super creative with ways to make money and just really focusing on hobbies and different things. Like my friend Joey wrote a book and, you know, everybody's just taking it one day at a time. Man, that's such a great line to use when you get done with this too. And we're back to normal, the new normal. People are going to be like, what did you guys do during the uh, the pandemic? Joey goes, I wrote a book. What? <laughs> now, it may not be the great American novel, but he wrote a book. He wrote a book. He illustrated the book and everything. And I'm, I'm trying to make one video for West Boylston High School for graduation and tell the congrats or whatever. And I can't do that. This guy's writing a book. How much impressive is he? Oh, my God. How much more? I always tell him too whenever we talk, I'll say, Joey, you're a published author. <laughs> He's like, I know, like it's so crazy. It's great. Man, this gonna be a cool new business card from him. I would just get a business card and goes, I wrote a book. What have you done? That'd yeah. be cool. <laughs> Pass that out. Did you guys watch Kevin's video yesterday? He went to the beach yesterday. Oh yes, it looked cold, but I it looked saw. nice. I know. Looked fun. I was trying to figure out they didn't show it in the video. Uh, Kevin's off, he was off yesterday, he's off today. How do kids react to the beach because you can't just sit there? And I would find it hard to think that, I mean, kids are going to run, 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 but then you're going to want to sit down and build sand castles, but maybe that wasn't a problem for him. I don't know. Especially like Riley, at some point he's just going to want to plop down, you know? Right, with all the videos I saw, the, the two of them running around, they were loving the water and they were excited oh, really? to the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right, we got traffic here. Tony Jordan is standing by. We'll get your morning traffic. Do not forget, Billy Joe Armstrong will be stopping by about 820. Billy Joe from Green Day fame. We'll talk with him about his new stuff that he's putting out, all these cover songs during quarantine. They're doing a different one every week. So it's almost like you want quarantine to continue because they said they'll provide a different one every week. And it's so cool yeah. the songs they're covering. It's like you almost don't want to come out too soon. At least we just keep the band in quarantine. We all go back to normal, but until Green Day is still going on. <laughs> Just so they keep that. releasing more music. That's a good idea. Tony, what do we got going on? Well, Freeway Service Patrol is stopping traffic on the 210 Freeway Westbound High just past Azusa. They can clear up that debris that's in the two middle lanes. So watch for delays there just before Azusa. Once they get everything out of the way and lanes open, you're smooth down the pad through the drive into Pasadena. They're picking up the cones on the 60 freeway, so watch for delays right now. Westbound starting at Peck Road over towards uh, about Paramount, and then it's better from there to head over towards the 710. Please be works on alert as Caltrans gets all their cones and equipment out of the way. And then if you're heading through Commerce, uh, northbound side of the 5 Freeway at Garfield, 
I hated Brian Kai. So looks like everybody did make it out to the right shoulder, but a little bit of activity there. No major brake lights, but traffic is slow up ahead on the northbound side of the 5 from the 710. Tiga just past the 60, and then good speed for your drive into Glendale. Southbound side of the 5 is slowing down from about Los Feliz Boulevard, Los Feliz Boulevard over towards the 2, but then better pass them to get into LA. This traffic report is sponsored by Taco Bell. If you're feeling boxed in, it might as well be with a box of your Taco Bell favorites, like the Chalupa Cravings Box, a Chalupa Supreme, beefy five-layer burrito, crunchy taco, cinnamon twist, and medium drink. It's the Chalupa Cravings Box, only at Taco Bell, at participating locations for a limited time. At your traffic, I'm Tony Jordan with Valentine in the Morning on 1043 My FM. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. Hogue Urgent Care wants to make sure you're getting the health care you need during this unusual time, even if it is a non-COVID issue. The number one priority is the health and safety of their patients and staff, so Hogue Urgent Care is now offering video visits to help you get the medical care you need without leaving your home. That's so cool. As always, they are there to treat your illnesses and injuries with 13 locations throughout Orange County. You can make an online reservation. You can check wait times. You can even get the most current information about COVID-19 all on their website, overurgentcare.com. So there I am, stuck at home for what felt like an eternity. Luckily, I put that time to good use by shopping at Smart & Final, where select varieties of 8-pack 20-ounce Gatorades are just $3.99 for CRV. Must buy in multiples of three. Smart & Final. One trip and that's it. These days, being a small business means navigating uncertainty in a constantly changing situation. So if you're looking for one trusted source that will keep you informed daily, visit the iHeartRadio Small Business Crisis Resource. There you'll find small business resources to help you get through this, including the latest info on loans, grants, and other forms of relief. You'll also see stories about small businesses making a difference. So let's get through this together. Visit iHeart.com slash small business today. That's iHeart.com slash small business. You know that every week we update our top five reasons to visit Morongo. Well, I just met with the writers and producers, and I convinced them to let me write my own commercial this time. Okay? Here we go. The top reason to come to Morongo. Oh, hold your horses, old Smokey. Here we go. My number one reason to come to Morongo, we're open. Heck yeah. We now have thousands of new slot machines, a new sports bar, two other new awesome cocktail lounges, new restaurants, new table game pits, all the rooms are newly designed. Everything I want. That was one reason, right? Who cares? Get out of the house. Get back in the game. Morongo. Play it safe. Good time. Rick's reason. We are open. Newer, better, safe. Get back in the game. My other reason. It's time. It's time for good times. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo, now open. Good times. This report is sponsored by DuckDuckGo Privacy. You're looking at a pleasant day, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures mostly in the 70s as well. Uh, 75 downtown in your banana boat UV index for the day is going to be a 10, which is very high. Fed up with companies selling your data? DuckDuckGo is on it. They help millions of people like you take back their privacy online. With one download, you can search and browse privately, avoiding trackers. All for free. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. On June 1st, we'll be celebrating TLC, and we've invited four of your favorite artists, Ali Brook, Low Cash, Max, and Sarati, to cover the TLC classics, each putting their own spin on a track. Watch Iconic TLC.